I think what you're trying to do is a tremendous project. It, it, you know, it's something that, that, that I've dreamed about over the years and, and um, would love to have been involved in. Um, because I, I think that you know, with something like a nervous system, you, you've got to sort of ask yourself, well, what, do you, what constitutes an understanding of how it works? You know, particularly when you have a sort of complex array of, 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 of neurons. And you, know, you can say that, you know, I talk about circuit loops and uh, something acts as a sort of spatial dis differentiator or something like, like that. But but you know, you don't really know. The, um, but the, the thing about simulating something is is it it, 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 it puts constraints of, about how it can work and it, and it shows how it, how it how it could work. It doesn't absolutely show that that's what's happening. But if you can simulate. Um, Basically, you're simulating the whole uh, nervous system here. Um, this is go as I understand it. Anyway, to, to you know, uh, presumably, to, in the case where you have a stimulus, and, and then your uh, simulated worm will respond to that stimulus in in a way that you can compare with with, with a uh, an animal, a living animal, a wild type animal. So, you know, I think when you can do that, I I, I think only then can you sort of really say that you know, we understand how the nervous system works you know, and, and this is the basis of the understanding will be to show that all the components act in the way uh, that they um, are supposed to and so yeah I, I, I think this is the, when you talk about understanding a nervous system I, I, I think this is this is really the, the ultimate way of doing it although you know obviously Philosophically, you know, just showing that you can reproduce everything that a worm does in a computer doesn't mean to say that what goes on in that, that sort of uh, a little one millimeter length of worm is it, it, it is the same. I, I think it, it, it certainly says that, that your explanations are, are then sufficient to to explain the, the, the behaviour, and also you, you can then having a model begin to ask really key questions because in the, in the process of making a model you will find some parameters which are highly sensitive to, to, their, uh, to change and, and some which aren't and, and so you know you will get some ideas of the stability of this and, uh, and you know it's an interesting point now which is a lot of sort of discussions and scientific work about about you know about some biological systems you know being basically stable to, um, to to fluctuations, you know, you should be able to sort of move all parameters by plus or minus, say, say 25 percent, and, and the thing not not lock up into some violent uh, paroxysm, of <laughs> uh, and, and then comes grinding halt. You know, so, so you need to have you know some to demonstrate that, that there's a certain sort of uh, stability there, and um, you know. I, th I think with the simulated nervous system, you, you can measure this and, and you, know, you, you can uh, tweak various things to find out how sensitive they are, and then you can um, go back and, and then do this, a similar experiment in an animal. You know, the, nowadays with optogenetics and things like this, you can actually sort of ask particular questions from individual neurons about what happens when you excite them or inhibit them, and um, and see how this. this goes with the model. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm a huge fan and uh, you know, in summary, I, I think that this is the way ultimately we can, we should be able to say that we understand this nervous system. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's a really wonderful nice. job there and I, I, I think it's really fun to use these sort of modern uh, communication aids to, to make it into a, 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 a sort of international collaborative project. You know, what, what absolute fun really, really to be able to do this. And, and, uh, uh, I, I really thank you all for sort of, you know, getting it going. I was amazed at what you've done so far. I, I, think, I think it's it's wonderful to, uh, to, to do that, and um, I, I, I really wish you every success. And I, uh, delighted to be able to, uh, you know, to join the project in, in some sort of rather marginal way. Thank you.